Sterilization alone can take about 50% of your profit from your mushroom farming if care is not taken. A friend contacted me, a mushroom farmer, and according to him, he spent over 8,000 on gas to sterilize his substrate. 8,000 gamma cells to sterilize his substrate. That is quite huge in Ghana cedars. Yes. So as a mushroom farmer, if you are spending this much on sterilization, mushroom seed is not in and all the stuff that you need to patronize to get your business running, you are going to go bankrupt. That is the truth. And also using firewood is very expensive. Right now, a, a chunk of firewood is going for about 2,500 or 3,000. So how can you reduce this waste? Yes, so today that is what we are going to learn, the sawdust stove method. It requires less firewood so you conserve energy and save money. And the sawdust is free, we don't sell it. So it's just about where you go for your sawdust and then you bring it to your farm and it becomes very easy. So join me today, let's learn how you can build your durable um, sawdust stove and um, which is which saves energy for your mushroom sterilization process it's your girl the crown princess of the edible fungi kingdom so join me let's play so first of all you need to get the diameter of the sterilization tank that will help you um, build what is just inside so you need a capital to assist you because we want to make just where the concrete will be um, one meter and we also added ring to enforce it so the wire mesh inside is to reinforce it and then we want to give space where we will put the firewood or air will pass through for the fire to burn so we use wood to kind of create that shade there that shape there so you need a carpenter to assist you and i think when you give this video to your carpenter by watching it it's made simple and clear so he should be able to build for you so using an old roofing sheet round and we use the uh, the wood to kind of make it hold so that um it will not be shaking or remove or form a different shape when we are about to fill our concrete and we just want the concrete section to be just one meter and the middle we fill it with the sawdust because we don't want the concrete to go inside or block um, where we will set our fire so we kind of filled everything with sawdust so aside the sawdust you can fill it with sun so it's not compulsory to fill with sawdust you can use the sun and then fill that space whether it's and as you are filling you press so that um the the roofing sheet with the wood that we've created will kind of hold in place it will not be shaking or easily removed and right after that we go to our concrete section we added our smith sun we mix it up and then we added um our stones kind of for reinforcement so you have to take your time and get uh this the cement and then the soil will mix up so at this point i think you also need a mason somebody good in concrete work so if your carpenter has that skill too i think that will be much easier for you and if your carpenter doesn't have you need to also get somebody on board that um, has that skill to mix your concrete all together so the cement the sun the stones goes together and then water we mix it very well and we make sure that the consistency is a bit um smooth and it's not um, kind of liquid too much liquid or too much solid or hard together so you can see the consistency like a bit liquid the water kind of a bit too much and then we pour into that space that we created um, like one inch so the space is kind of a bit like one inch so we make sure you shake you hold the ring um, that is the 
net ring that we kept inside for reinforcement too so you kind of hold it and then whilst uh whilst you are filling your concrete into it you shake it so that there will not be air spaces and bubbles or like misarrangement of the concrete inside so you can use the shovel to hit it so that all the stones the soil everything will kind of settle and then um you can do just as it, as it is done in the video so you can just watch and practice and then you finish it up by making the surface smooth you don't want it to be rough it can cause farm injury you don't want it to have spaces where other like maybe where you are setting the fire so that can fill there and it can catch fire and all that so you have to level it up make sure it's very full well leveled and very neat and it's ready to allow to be cured or dry overnight so we left it for 24 hours and then we allow it to dry and then we repeat the same process to the other stove the next morning yes it was very dry everything solidified and it's time to take off the sawdust that we kept in the middle out of it so we scoop everything out of the sawdust so we had more stoves to make so we just transfer it easy <laughs> rather than starting from scratch again yes and then the ring that we we made to serve as the kind of a, a barrier between the middle of the stove and then how big or how the one inch that we wanted the concrete to have the shape yeah we removed that ring out i don't have specific name of it it's just the carpenters coming up with a creativity to create that thing and we also take up um where we uh, set aside as where the firewood will pass or the air will pass through for the fire to set up so we remove all that and this was done by the carpenters they they are skillful and they can come up with a smart way to get it done so at the end you should get something like this so you just get your carpenter show the video to him or her and he'll get a perfect job done for you so we allow it to cure dry and it's ready to be used but before then we took it to a welder to create that standing or the setting where the the sterilization tank will sit so join the next video for updates on how we used it thank you for watching and see you in our next video how to use the stove to sterilize your mushroom substrate thank you